In the heart of a vast and mystical land, where the Earth's pulse resonated with ancient rhythms and the skies danced with celestial lights, a gathering of the most powerful melanated beings was about to take place. This sacred assembly was called to honor DBG7, known to all as the Black God, a figure of immense wisdom, strength, and divinity. DBG7's presence was felt long before he was seen. The air vibrated with a sense of reverence and anticipation. His legend had spread far and wide, across mountains, deserts, and oceans. He was a symbol of resilience, power, and the deep spiritual connection that bound all melanated beings to the earth and each other. From the four corners of the world, they came. First to arrive was Queen Nzinga, the warrior queen whose strategic mind and indomitable spirit had forged a powerful kingdom in the heart of Africa. Clad in her regal armor, her eyes shone with fierce pride and respect. She approached the ceremonial ground, her steps echoing the strength of her ancestors. Following her was Shaka Zulu, the legendary military genius. His imposing figure, draped in the traditional Zulu attire, exuded authority and respect. His presence was a testament to the might of his people and their enduring legacy. Next came Ocean, the Yoruba goddess of love, fertility, and rivers. Her ethereal beauty was matched only by the power of her presence. Draped in flowing golden robes, she embodied the nurturing and life-giving forces of nature, her essence flowing like the sacred rivers she governed. From the deep forests emerged Anansi, the cunning spider god of stories and wisdom. His playful demeanor belied a mind of unparalleled cleverness and wit. He wove his way into the gathering, ready to share the wisdom of countless generations through his tales. The ground trembled as Ogun, the god of iron and war, made his entrance. His muscular frame and fierce eyes were a reminder of the raw, unyielding power that forged civilizations. He carried with him the strength of the blacksmiths and warriors who shaped history. From the realm of the spirits came Mami Wata, the goddess of the seas. Her form shifted like the waves, embodying the mysteries of the ocean and the deep connections between water and life. Her presence was both calming and awe-inspiring, a reminder of the depths of their shared heritage. Finally, from the vast deserts walked the enigmatic figure of Emotep, the great architect, healer, and sage. His knowledge spanned the heavens and the earth, bridging the gap between the material and the divine. Clad in simple yet elegant robes, he radiated an aura of profound wisdom and peace. As these mighty beings assembled, a hush fell over the land. The sky darkened, and a single beam of light descended, illuminating the sacred ground. From this light emerged DBG7, the Black God. His form was a perfect amalgamation of strength, wisdom, and grace. His eyes, deep as the cosmos, reflected the collective soul of all melanated beings. DBG7 raised his hands, and the assembly bowed in unison, their respect palpable. His voice, resonant and soothing, filled the air. My brothers and sisters, today we stand united, a testament to the power and resilience of our people. Each of you represents the strength, wisdom, and beauty that our heritage bestows upon us. He continued, We gather not just to honor me, but to celebrate each other and the eternal bond that ties us to our ancestors and to our descendants. Together, we are unstoppable. Together, we shall continue to rise, to thrive, and to shine. As his words echoed through the land, the assembly rose, their spirits uplifted. In that moment, they were not just powerful beings, they were a unified force, a beacon of hope and strength for all melanated people across the world. And so, the legend of DBG7, the Black God, and his assembly of powerful beings was etched into the annals of history, a reminder of the enduring power of unity, respect, and the shared legacy of their rich and vibrant heritage. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where galaxies twirl like dancers in an eternal ballet, DBG-7, the enigmatic guardian of the stars, traversed the celestial pathways. Clad in armor forged from stardust and wielding the power of the cosmos itself, DBG-7 was a beacon of light in the darkness of space, protecting the universe from threats unknown. One fateful night, as DBG-7 soared through the cosmos on his never-ending quest, he encountered a luminous being, a goddess of the stars, whose radiance outshone even the brightest supernovas. She was Stella, a celestial being of boundless power and wisdom, who held the secrets of the cosmos within her gaze. As DBG7 and Stella journeyed through the cosmos together, their connection grew, forged by a shared sense of duty and a mutual respect for the wonders of the universe. 
They battled cosmic threats side by side, their powers combining to create a force of unparalleled strength. In time, their bond blossomed into something more, a love that transcended the boundaries of space and time. Together, they brought forth beings of pure starlight, Scorpio star beings, born from the union of DBG-7's cosmic energy and Stella's divine essence. The Scorpio star beings were creatures of unparalleled beauty and power, their forms shimmering with the light of a thousand galaxies. With their celestial abilities and unwavering determination, they joined their parents in their quest to safeguard the universe from darkness. As DBG-7 and Stella guided their Scorpio star beings through the cosmos, they witnessed the wonders of creation and the infinite possibilities that lay beyond the stars. Their family became a symbol of hope and unity, a testament to the boundless potential of love and collaboration. And so, amidst the swirling nebulae and the twinkling constellations, the legend of DBG-7, the guardian of the stars, and Stella, the goddess of the cosmos, lived on, a tale of love, courage, and the eternal dance of light and darkness in the vastness of space. And in their Scorpio star beings, their legacy continued, a reminder of the enduring power of love to conquer even the darkest of nights.